Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. If you're new, please make sure to subscribe to us, follow us along. So today this video is gonna be um, me treating our pond. It's that time of the year where it's starting to get warm outside and I can start prepping this pond like we have been the past couple of years to maintain it and keep it to where we can swim in it and just keep it looking good and clean. So I'm gonna show you the stuff that I do on this pond just to keep it the way that it is right now and maintain it and our, I guess kind of some tricks and secrets to it. So I got Sadie and Ellie out here don't 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 break it. Not. They're my helpers for right now. They got the the dye. They got my uh, some back bacteria that I use and some other stuff ready to go. I'll show you in just one second and get out of this sun glare here. So we've had a lot of rain out here and the pond's at a good level, but most of the dye it over overflowed quite a bit. So a lot of the dye fake duck, not not a real one. A lot of the dye is actually washed out. So. It's got more of like a greenish haze and, and we don't want that. I need to clean some of these sticks out of here too. I like the more of the blue look and I also like the clarity. So it's pretty murky right now. So we're gonna start treating because the sooner you do this and the sooner you get the results. So we've had a lot of rain out here. So the pond's actually at top level which is the brim going around. We've gone down four feet before and it's in the drought times so right now it's full. So when you do this, you know, you wanna make sure that you plan accordingly the heavy rains here just went through, so our pond's full. I don't see any more real rain coming through the forecast because the last thing you want to do is treat the pond and it all overflows out, right? So I've checked it and made sure that, you know, if we get a little bit of rain, we'll be fine. Just don't want nothing crazy. Um, our pond does have an overflow spot on the far back corner over there, and we're still quite a ways below it. So we should be fine to treat it now. And the goal here is to start treating right once spring gets here because you want the water to start warming up and start prepping the pond. This is like the prep before the real treat. So you wanna get the bacteria situated and you wanna start to dye so you can start testing out and seeing the color complex of it before you get too carried away. Careful coming down, Sadie. So we were actually gonna treat this yesterday and then um, we found out from Meredith that she just kinda of threw a curveball on our plan. So I'm gonna show a little quick clip from yesterday of what postponed us from doing this today. It's that time of year, I'm just gonna say that the baby chicks are out and there's nothing I can do to keep, them, keep her away from them or, or hatching them. So check out this little clip and then we'll jump right back to the pond. Yeah. Be careful. Yeah. You see that little, oh, you got it? Yeah. Oh, be careful. Can you give it a little kiss? Yeah. Look at that baby chick. It's up here. Put it back in here with these ones. Be careful. Put it in there. Good job. Oh, a black one. You got that one? It's a black one? Be careful. Hold it. Don't drop it. What's that? Is that cool? Um, yeah. Hey, I like your shoes. You got Ellie's shoes? <laughs> you silly. Bear, you want to use this? Yeah. yeah, it's almost time, huh? Not yet. Yeah. Is that for your is that for your baby chicks? Huh? Your baby chicks gonna go in there? Uh-huh. Oh yeah, they are, huh? You ready? Uh-huh. Here, bring it. Here. Get this. Bring it over here. Here, bring it to daddy. Pull it. You can pull it. <laughs> Come on. We gotta, put, we gotta put your baby chicks in there. Come on. <laughs> do, you, do you want daddy help? Yeah. <laughs> You get Big Bubba to help? Is Bryson helping you? Hey, Tom Toms. We're gonna go set this up in the barn. They're not coming. Look at them. They're all following us. We're gonna hide this in the barn. We can put up the heat lamps and keep the babies safe in here. Go ahead and let's put it in that corner right there. It's perfect. Yeah. That'd be a good spot, huh, Bear? Yeah. There you want your baby chicks to go? Yeah. And now we gotta put their bedding in here and their heat lamp. All their good stuff.
All right, so got all the, the baby chicks set up the first round, because I know good and well that Meredith is going to be loading this thing up. And I probably bit myself in the butt by putting, I brought out the big container that we used the last couple of years, you know, to hatch the, or not to hatch, just to keep the chicks in once we do hatch them. And now that we have this huge container, and only three of those little guys in there, uh, yeah, it's probably a recipe for disaster. I, I know for sure that three is going to turn to five, and then to nine, and then to 22. And she'll be like, I don't know what's going on. But quick setup for them. So they're in there, good to go now, food and water. A little table, all their stuff. It is such an easy, it's the same as like, you know, the feed stores, tractor supply and Atwoods and all that. We used, we found out the horse stuff for the stalls with the chicks this age, it works and smells so much better than the shavings. Okay, so here's what I use at the beginning of, we'll call it the season, the spring season. And I actually use this dye throughout. The color I use is the, I want to say it was just the nature's blue, yeah, there's nature, nature's blue. Um, it's, I don't like the real green look, and I have one that's also black. No, I don't like that either. The blue, if you do, don't overdo it, it won't be this blue. You want just enough to get that nice blue tint before I start really treating it. These are super easy, they're the packets. Once the water starts getting warm enough outside, I'll go to more of a liquid bacteria. Um, I'll do a video on that later on down the road. That's a whole different treatment there. Uh, but I'll start with the pond clear, the packets. This helps the pond start to settle and start to get its biological on track. So before I touch this stuff though, always use the gloves, right Sadie? Yep. So she, she knows I've done this every time I can't get away without having blue dye somewhere on me. So I got my flip flops on and shorts. I'm gonna put these gloves on and get ready to go. Before I do the dye, I'm gonna have Sadie throw out the packets. How many are we doing, Sadie? Three. Three. And she's gonna throw those way out there. Remember how those smell? Smell them. Yeah, I remember. Mm, it's like a sour foot, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's nasty. So she's gonna throw these way on out there. It doesn't really matter where you put them. Uh, we just scatter them around. And you do wanna figure out the size of your pond. So this pond's about 10 foot deep. And I mean, if, if you're judging it, you definitely want to make sure you factor in the depth and not just the actual span of your pond. So like I said, this one's pretty deep. So I'm going to treat this a little more frequently than I would like a four foot pond. Um, and it's about a, say a half an acre treatment on this pond right here. Yeah. Maybe you're ready. Throw them on out there. Just do this? Yeah, you remember. Throw them way out there. Easy as that. I bet you the ducks are going to hear and be here any second. Is that all three of them? One, there's only two. I'll throw this one. Throw that one way out there. And boom. Okay. So simple as that. Put your bacteria out there, start getting this stuff ready. Now we're going to move over to the dye. So like I was saying, no matter how I do this, it gets on me every time. I've done it in cups, thrown the whole cup out there. We've actually gone out here on the kayak before and like dribbled it in and traced it, thinking that was like the best plan ever. Still got it on me. Um, have the gloves on. I'll still somehow get it on me. But what I've done now is I just poke a little hole in the top, right? And then I'll find where the wind's blowing, which is actually at us right here. So I'm going to go to the opposite side of the pond over there. So when I dose it, the wind will blow it and distribute it this way. Okay, so I'm over on the opposite side of the pond now. So we have a little breeze going that way. Goodness. Yeah, so you, oh, you're feeding them? Okay. She's feeding them. Yeah, keep them over there as they will swim through it. So I'm going to do it on this side, and it's just as simple as me having this hole, and I will just spray it on out. It's always cool looking. I will tell you this firsthand. Do not put in way more than you need, unless you want your pond looking like that, which is way too artificial in my mind, and it's just overkill. I, I do about, I want to say, one cup of this. And it will last about three months. It goes extremely far. Do not overdose. That one little squirt, you can see how much it does in this pond. Look at that. When I first started, I would measure it out more. So I was kind of learning how to do this. Now I just squirt it out. I got a good idea how much this pond will take. Look at the difference. This pond was it, was, it was needing it right now. But I've been having to wait. So through the, through the cold, all the snow, all that time is not when you want to be treating your pond with chemicals and bacteria, because it does no good. The bacteria are very dormant 
in the cold. And the bacteria is what makes the murkiness and the clarity of your pond way more on track. Keep them over there, Sadie. They eat so fast. Yeah, I know they do. I knew they were gonna go in it. I just said that. I was just talking about it, and look at they're flying all in it. Surprisingly, with the ducks. From experience, we've learned that from the ducks going through, it does not <laughs> does not turn them blue. And they actually, you know, remember, say they can see the spot. Yeah. And they always try to go around it. The other ones were flying because they didn't know what it was. So I'm gonna do a couple more spots. Probably one past that tree over there, and maybe one across that bank on that side. It's always so neat looking, huh, Sadie? Yeah. You remember the first time we did this? Yep. The pond looked like a, a chocolate milkshake that's gonna be in the picture on here. It was so thick and murky, this pond. And we've cleaned this thing up to where we can swim in it. Cleaned the sticks out the bottom, cleaned all the banks up and the edges. The and we've enjoyed it, yep. Let me go the opposite side over there. Y'all stay over there. This is not food. Watch, they won't come to it. They're smart. And of course, that's, watch, they're all going to go in it. They usually stop. They see it. They're, they're actually really smart with that. They know it's not normal. Yeah. And I need to talk about that now. This is, is safe with fish safe with the ducks all the livestock we swim with it it's no problem at all this is one of the better ones that i've personally come across that i like there's a lot of other bad dyes out there this is at the top of the list of the better dyes well it's as simple as that so that's just the tricks i use that dye uh, and also that pond clear the bacteria did some of that food come out, Sadie? And um, what we do. So again, that's, this is it's just now about to be spring, getting getting warmer outside. We may have a couple more cold snaps come through, but you want to start doing the pre-treatment. I want to get all my dye, my color situated, start getting the bacteria more established before I start dosing and treating it more. So that was it for this video. We're going to wrap it up with feeding these guys over here. And until we see you all again on the next video. The geese love to eat out of the hands yep. versus on the ground. I'm say this some more there. There you go. Here. 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 Sometimes it does kind of hurt. I'll get just a little too, too much. I was hoping we can get the catfish to come out. It's too cold though. Usually it's the, the geese and ducks and the race against the catfish out here. But no catfish right now. Too cold. All right. I'll give you one more. That's it. This is the this is the fish food, and you're over eating all of it. Here. That's the basketball geese. They're starting. Come on. They're starting to get more friendly. Still, still warming up to being hand fed. They sure do love some fish food. I'll tell you. Let me, let me share some. Now I'm trying to feed the other geese. I don't get a chance to hand feed the other ones because y'all are just too greedy. Look at that, nasty. All right, Tom Tom. You hiss. It's funny that they try to act so like mean. People are so afraid of the geese, you know, because they're so big and intimidating. But you can pet them. And they may hiss and squawk at you like that, but it doesn't really hurt. Now it'll hurt Sadie, huh? They go after her all the time. Everybody, thanks for stopping on this video. Hopefully it'll help somebody with the pond. Uh, some tips and tricks on how to get this looking good. So you can swim in it, fish in it, and enjoy it. Have a good one, everybody. Bye.